What is up, guys, and welcome back to Jack Stan Builds. Finally, golly, it's been what, like six, seven months? Yeah. Well, I've been super busy um, building all kinds of motors and doing all kinds of builds. So um, I'm going to show you all one of my cool builds that I've got going on right now. It's a, uh, a 416 Stroker L86 Gen 5 block. So. Let me show y'all what I'm starting out with here and what it's about to become. So this is it right here. Uh, it's just a stock L86 block that's been uh, line honed and you know ARP main studs and it's been honed five over so it could be 4.070 bore. Um, apparently they don't bore five over, they just hone five over. So uh, here it is. As you can see, it's a 6.2 liter block, and we're about to turn it into something crazy with all these parts right here. Look at that, PRC heads, Texas Speed cam kit, all this stuff, Comstar crank. So this thing's about to be a beast. So I'm gonna start throwing the cam bearings in this thing. I just knocked them out so I can start throwing them in. I've already got the back one in here. It's a coated Molly bearing but uh let me get all these pushed in and then i'm gonna take these caps off so we can set that crank in here all right got the cam bearings on now uh the coated performance cam bearings now i'm gonna throw the main bearings in here and set the crank down in here there we go got that crank set in there need to go ahead tighten the main caps and all that stuff um this is a Cali's Comstar crank. Uh, this is good for some power. This is going to be a beast for sure. So I'll go ahead and get these uh, these nuts back on here. Get the bolts on the side of the block. I just gapped all these rings. Um, I did top ring 20. This one, uh, second ring 22. So that he can have room to run a little bit of boost in the future here. Um, I've assembled all the rods and pistons. We're going Wiseco pistons with Texas Speed H-beams, you know, stroker stuff. So right now I'm about to start putting the rings on all these pistons. I've got it down here, got them all assembled. Get all the rings on them and start popping them into the block here. All right, so the bottom end is in now. Uh, all the forge rods and pistons sitting in there real nice. Posted a little video of it on TikTok and on my Instagram if you wanna go check that out. But now we're going to go ahead and throw this cam in here, get this timing set on, and uh, hopefully start getting this top end on the motor. There we have it. Got the cam in, with the new timing gear, timing chain, new tensioner, as you can see here, top dead center. So we're all in time here. Uh, got the lifters and trays in, head studs on. I think what I'm about to do is slap these heads on now. All right, so we got our PRC heads here. Up. Ooh, boy. PRC. Let's see. Yeah, ported heads. Look at that. Ooh, boy. Better make some more power, baby. Here we have it, Some pretty heads sitting on this new motor. Um, I'm shocked that, you know, PRC doesn't put their logo on it somewhere. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you, have, you, know, you want something that's flashy, like, oh, I got ported heads, PRC, or PRC, what, you know, somewhere. But no, they don't mark LT heads, I guess. Um, let's see the nice, CNC runners. So we're gonna be making some power with this motor for sure. So let me go ahead and get all these nuts on here for the studs, get this thing together, and we'll go from there. Uh, folks, here's the motor. It's all built, cleaned up, ready to go into this Denali. Crew cab Denali right here. Look at that. Already got a C8 intake on it. All kinds of other goodies. This thing bumps. 
that base got like three batteries on it anyways about to get it into this denali right here with a 4000 stall and see what this 416 can do Folks, so we got that that stock motor out of here. Got it sitting over here on the ground, making a mess. Um, I just put a Circle D converter in there. It's a 4,000 stall billet converter. It's gonna be badass. Now, we're gonna stick this big motor in there and uh, start buttoning it up. Got the motor in there, got the valve covers on, coil packs, headers, front drives on, trans is all bolted up, got that 4,000 stall in there. Um, just gotta get that alternator back on there and the whole top of the motor, you know, valley cover, fuel rails, fuel pump, intake, all that stuff. I uh, gotta get all the hoses connected, about to put the radiator in here. Got this big Mishimoto radiator going in here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get that in there and uh, get a little bit further along here. All right, folks. So there we have it. Got the Holly High Ram on. Yeah, that was a last minute decision because our LT2 intake didn't fit with the new LT4 pump. Um, got all the coils on and stuff. Got everything pretty much hooked up now. Um, about to start it up here. But what I need to do first is... Uh, change out the transmission pan also you can see how long this wire for this throttle body here is stretched out i'm going to get an extension for it so that it's not so stretched out right here um but here is our new transmission pan versus our old stock one here i don't know if you can tell the difference but uh, one is way bigger than the other one so this one actually adds uh two quarts of capacity versus this other one here so uh it's gonna be nice gonna keep it cool but it is gonna hang pretty low so uh i don't know how well it's gonna do on clearance for this lowered truck but i'm sure it'll be fine so i'm gonna go ahead and get this uh new b m pan together and get it up there <laughs> shop right now to get the headers loaded back up but man this thing sounds disgusting
All right, folks, just got the truck. Brought it up here to A&P. Here we are. This is my boy, Eric. This is his truck. I will, cuz. <laughs> it's A&P. We'll get it tuned today. Here we go. That's how you know the truck's loud, guys. It's a little loud, so headphone time. started, Eric. We'll see what it is. guys it's after the tune now back in the truck got eric with me I will big big whipping on the 416 we uh we're gonna do go do some pulls so y'all can see what this thing can do and uh go grab a couple parts from the dealership Yeah, that should put you in your seat, boy. <laughs> <laughs> 
That shit hit so hard, it says service airbag on it. <laughs> oh, Some shit's gonna break in this house. Not the motor, the motor's built, built, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. We're gonna do some dirt road racing over here. Go see if he can, go see if he can launch at four high through that huge pile of dirt right there. Instagram and TikTok at Jack Stan Builds. I'll see y'all later. Peace.